of race two, Superbike. That's uh, Tony Elias, Josh Hayes, Roger Hayes, and Cameron Bobier. Oh wow. Oh wow. There he is. Not going out without a fight. Tony Elias is leaving. And that will be me. Probably not, but you know, maybe someday. Team NPR, Motion Plus, HA Vinyls, Top Gear Letters. Yeah, Mountain Bike to Paint, My, Mountain Pike Paint Body. All my sponsors, thanks for watching. From Race One Superbike. Uh, Welcome right. to the stage, our podium finishers, Cam Bobier, Monster Energy Graves Yamaha. From the Honda Superbike Showdown of Alabama, Mr. John Seidel from American Honda. Our third place finisher, Cam Bobier. Yeah! Our runner up, Tony Elias Yoshimura Suzuki. Woo! Representing Yoshimura Suzuki, Mr. Pat Alexander, the team award. Yeah! And our winner, Roger Lee Hayden. That is the result. All right, guys, it's me, JP, back again for Motions Plus, Team NPR, um, H and A Vinyls, Top Gear Leathers, yeah, Suzuki, that kind of stuff. To be uh, exact. Last time sitting here at Moto America, and uh, again, we're having a blast. We're gonna catch the guys coming around on the course a little bit, give me some racing footage, and then um, go from there. Almost a half a second, and Elias, as you said, had that little bit of a moment, a little slide coming over the tunnel. But uh, Roger Hayden is managed Roger Hayden to and Tony Lee in first and second. That's on Roger Lee. Suzuki. Here's Cam Bobier, Josh Tony Hayden. Tony low. And it's still Josh Hayden. Hanging off the bike. There's Cam. To the Superstock 1000 win. Bobby Fong in eighth position. Matthew Schultz in ninth. Kyle Wyman in the tenth spot. Hayden Josh Gilles. Harris. Slowly but surely. That's Hayden Gillen. Catch him, Hayden. I actually got the honor of hanging out with Hayden yesterday and Jake both. Um, they're super cool guys. Really had a blast. The fastest lap time so far done on this track is a 125. Here, it's the record's 120. That's the super stock class. BMW's had a lot of issues. Now, the leaders are going to come back around in about 15 seconds. Come back up and give you some. Well, Roger has got just about his entire family here this weekend as they come up on eight laps to go. Brother Nicky is here, Brother Tommy is here. He's got all of here his come again. Uh, uh hanging around. Mom, Rose, Dad, Earl, they're all Earl here. Earl the brakes, and leaning in. in. Tony, get low. Here comes Cam. Cam is closing the distance. Cam is closing the distance. Oh, 
Berti. Uh, probably knocked the wind out of him at the very least. He's given a thumbs up to the corner worker, says he's basically okay. Get low. Thanks for watching, guys. BMW. Thanks, guys. Super awesome for you to join us. Again, all my sponsors, friends, family, and fans, thanks for watching. I'll bring you some more videos later on. No, not at all. And we make light of it only because Claudio seems to be uninjured and he'll return to fight later this afternoon at 4 o'clock. Now you're seeing... Hey, guys, it's me. JP back again for uh, Team Motion Plus and uh, NPR. We're a beautiful... Uh, Barber Motorsports Park Road Museum. It's fantastic. They got everything. Dang Westmans. Racing bike. All the way. Everybody's racing bikes. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, <clears throat> it's a pretty spectacular thing. They even have Michael Jordan's uh, motorcycles, which are right over there. Now, with that being said, I'm glad you guys can come. It only costs 15 bucks a person down here in Leeds, Alabama. Please do come check it out. We're going to go watch some racing for day two of the Motor America Superbike, Super Sport, and KTM uh, Cup 2 Challenge. So, uh, this is what I do. I bring you racing at its best, including me, and hopefully I'll be seeing you on the track soon in August. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. To all my friends, family, and fans, don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Good morning, what's up YouTube? I'm on day two of my Moto America experience, my trip. We got a few videos today, uh, will be most of the races, full day of racing, so I'm going to shoot all that. Uh, yesterday was qualifying, super pole, um, and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> and had a few uh, super sport and uh, super stock 600 class races. So, and then the KTM RC Cup 2 Series, which is actually really, really big. KTM put a lot of money into that. Um, so maybe Suzuki Yamaha and them start doing the same thing. Uh, anyway, so it's been a good day. I got to meet a lot of cool people yesterday. Roger Hayden was pretty cool. Tony Elise was all right, you know. Really want to answer a lot of questions and focus on what they need to do. Um, the first guy I met was Josh Hayes right off the bat. And it's ironic because it wasn't during an autograph session. He just rolled up and I looked at the picture and I was like, hey, that's Josh Hayes. And uh, I was like, hey, what's your name? And he's like, Josh. And we sat there and talked. and. He just, he really is a people's champ, man. That's how nice that guy is. And he'll go out of his way to talk to you. He was giving me riding advice on trail breaking. I don't know what else to say. I mean, he just went out of his way to talk to me. Nikki's cool, too. Nikki was like, what's up, dude? You know what I mean? We, we, I didn't get his autograph either, but I just kind of talked to him. Um, and then Josh Heron was super cool. Um, they're just blown away, I guess, by, they, you know, because they're normal people who actually have fans and they came up through the ranks and they're used to the paddocks, everybody being cool and friendly and all that. And then I guess when you get to the Moto America level, it's like, you know what I mean? You're, you're more separated from, from everyday people that you wouldn't normally be at the, at the smaller race venues. Like when I was at the track, everybody talked to everybody. You know what I mean? There was no autographs, no fans, no teams were against team, you know, everybody was chipping in to help you. It was just, you know, it's just one of those things, you know? Um, but they're focused and they do want to win and it is serious and at that level i guess that's just kind of how it gets to but it's just so funny because you know the people are like you know the, the racers are, are like you know you can kind of see in their face they're like ah, i'm signing autographs you know oh uh, by the way um this is hayden gillum shirt i got an autograph from hayden gillum um he's the man in the van with the plan so check out his uh youtube channel um hayden uh gillum h-a-y-d-e-n g-i-l-i or L-L-I-A-M, so, uh, or G-I-L-L-I-M, one of the two. Um, anyway, check him out, super fast. The kid's been racing for years. He's like 22 now, or 21, or 22, or 23, somewhere in there. Um, so he's getting there, man, I mean, he's he's awesome. I'm a huge fan, so do check him out. Give him all kinds of support. He's just a kid in a van with one bike. So, yeah, you gotta, you gotta give it a try. You gotta check him out, he is fast. But uh, he's got some stiff competition. Uh, Jake Lewis is racing. He is freaking ridiculous. Jake is ridiculous. He's also a super cool, super nice kid. Um, and I wish him and J.D. Beach and uh, Gillum and Hayden and uh, Hayes and Cameron and all those guys, you know, I just wish them all, all the best of luck, you know. And I hope they stay safe out there. A couple uh, go downs yesterday. Uh, Cameron went down in the 600 class on the M4 Suzuki. Um, STG actually had a, a decent day. Um, they're gonna have to buckle down because they just, 
They can't. Nobody can hold a candle to the Yamahas, and I don't think it's because they're faster. They just, they just, their teams, man. I think they just they set the bikes up to the rider the way they can handle it. Cause Cameron, Cameron Bovier, uh was on his Yamaha yesterday and wrecked twice, crashed out of both practices, and then goes into uh, the last qualifying session for Super Pole and blisters everybody with the 124 six. So I think what Yamaha does is they, you know, the, bike, the rider has to push the bike to the very, 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 very limit. Almost so close that it's about to wreck. And then he goes back and says, okay, this is what happened. This is what it did. I need you to fix that so I can ride like that. I think that's what he does. Um, and if you don't push the bike that hard, you don't push it to the limit of wrecking, then I don't, um, yeah. I think that's what they do. But anyway, so that's just me. That's just the thought process on that. It's me, JP, back again. I'm going to uh, head out. I am just had breakfast. I'm kind of tired. It was a long day yesterday, super hot. But today is going to be better. Today is going to be much, much better. Anyway, to all my uh, sponsors, James, wish you could be here, man. H&A Vinyls, Motions Plus, uh, Mountain Paint and Body, Top Gear Letters. Well, thanks to all you guys. Hopefully someday it will be me racing here at Moto America. Maybe. I doubt it. That'll take way too long. Maybe. Maybe. It all depends on you and me. Anyway. Alright guys. I'll talk to you later.